My name is Sky Whitcomb, and I play Zara Sky, which is going to make things a lot easier on set. Uh, Zara Sky is sort of a prophesied leader uh, among the Order. Uh, he manifested uh, his ability to control the Nanites at age eight, and unlike a lot of the mages when they first manifest uh, their abilities, uh, his was not destructive, it was actually positive. He saved people from a, a cave in a mining facility. He is extremely studious, uh, extremely focused, uh, driven, uh, has a, an intense need to prove himself. Especially with this added pressure of, there are certain factions within the Order that see him as some sort of messiah-style figure. And not only having to live up to the expectations that he's placed upon himself, but the expectations that he's had on him since childhood, since he joined the Order. I'm actually really excited about uh, being involved in the project. Um, I'm excited about being part of this new kind of genre. Uh, as an actor, you don't want to hold on to the dust of the past because there's nothing there that applies to you. And so you want to move forward, you kind of want to find new ways of expressing yourself as an artist. And this is the newest way to express yourself. To be perfectly frank, this is where entertainment's going. The idea of a web series, the idea of a series on television, this is dying out, and it, I foresee it being dead within 15 years. When you've got a web series, you've got immediate feedback. You know exactly what your audience is thinking, and what they enjoy, and what needs to be focused upon. It's also something that uh, television is trying to do with things like DVR and TiVo and that sort of thing. With, with a web series, it's not, oh, I have to wait for this. If I want to wait for it, I can. If I don't want to wait for it, I can stream this anytime that I want to. It's relatively simplistic. This is the direction that you're going to this heading. And if you're looking to support a medium that is forward-looking, that is intense, that is the future of entertainment. This is where you need to go. The science fiction genre, I actually, I teach high school and I teach a science fiction course. Uh, science fiction allows authors to explore issues that we see in our world today in a much more direct manner than normal fiction does, or even nonfiction does. We can take these elements, whether we're talking about racism, or we're talking about homophobia, or we're talking about uh, ethnocentrism, and place them in a setting which allows us to take in that message, to take in those ideas, without feeling as though we're being preached to, without feeling as though we have to take an immediate side. We can look at this in a fictional setting and weigh each argument because we have no stake in it. And it allows us to see our own world in a much clearer light. Uh, the exciting thing about it being shot entirely in South Florida is that I am going to sweat like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I've seen the costume renderings, uh, lots of leather. Uh, I expect to lose probably about 15 pounds uh, just through water weight. Uh, the idea of working with local talent, though, uh, so many of the performance medium down here use non-local talent. There's almost this bias against South Florida actors. You bring in an actor from New York and suddenly, oh, it's a New York actor, therefore they must be better than the Miami actor or the Fort Lauderdale actor, uh, which is ridiculous in the extreme. South Florida has some of the most amazing talent that you will find in the United States, and to be able to work with local talent, and to work with people that I know and that I love, and that I know that I'm going to work with again, that we're not just going to finish this project and suddenly never see each other again because I'm going to fly back to LA, or Chris is going to go back to Chicago, or whatever. That's exciting, to know that there are relationships being built here, that it's more permanent, more stable, 
than something that's just thrown together from all of your blood. And I, I told her, you know, it's going to be strange for me to be playing a good guy. Um, and she, she told me that it wouldn't last long. Before this was over, she would turn me. And I have no doubt of her intention to do so, and I have no doubt of her ability to do so, to be perfectly honest.